I hope you know the Bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing. It didn't say he that finds a woman and makes her a wife. That means she must be a wife to be found. A wife does not happen when you are married. A wife is a mental position. Are we together now? It's, it, this is a very powerful revelation. The Bible, your Bible, look up please ladies. It means that every woman who wants to be successful in her home and every woman who wants to be successful even in a relationship must before a man comes to your life the assignment you should be involved with is learning submission and learning respect because this is your this is the mandate upon you to your husband as paul began to teach the church it will be difficult brothers and sisters for a woman who truly understands respect and honor and submission to have a bad marriage it will be difficult there is something respect does to men. It makes them vulnerable. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. It's an uncomfortable truth, but let me tell you this. The variables in marriage are too many to learn about marriage through opinions. The variables, every married man will agree that every home is unique. And there is no general template based on personal experience. And so we must be able to minimize experiences and focus on the word of God. Are we together now? Yes. And let me tell you this, and I want to submit to you truly. It is not always true that experience teaches about marriage. It is not always true. Experience is an added advantage. The major mentors in the issue of marriage in the Bible were not married themselves. God, Jesus, Paul. And yet they were the authorities that taught about marriage. This is a thing of the spirit. Are we together? I've always said a man can dwell with his wife for 30 years hurting and destroying this dear woman's life. But just because she vowed that she would not divorce, after 30 years, they can use the template of their experience to teach that this is how to remain in marriage is wrong. Because the woman may have been quietly enduring pain for 30 years. The word of God is living and abiding forever. You will never go wrong with this book. Believe me when I tell you this, you will never go wrong with this book. Are we together? It's very important because I'm saying this because there are many young people unmarried who think that there's nothing to learn. Let me just marry and then I will start learning pragmatically. No, no. The preparation for marriage is before. There are foundational truths you should know before. You will continue learning even when you are married. Are we together? But there are truths that are foundational, unbending, and it's important for you to know. Can I just touch on two or three information? Number one, we're discussing family. Look up, please. There is nowhere in the Bible where God tells a woman to love a man. God does not instruct women to love men. The Bible tells women, wives, to respect their husbands. Because psychologically speaking, love does not mean anything to a man. But when you honor and respect that man, that is his idea of love. Are we together?
together now. All men without reservation. Please listen to me. No matter how emotionally appealing a woman is towards a man, if genuine respect and honor is not there, there is a violation of a foundational ordinance. It's a matter of time. There will be a repercussion. The Bible, Jesus himself, spoke a bit about marriage. And then in Ephesians chapter 5, when you read, the Bible says, Wives, submit. Wives, respect. Respect. Now, let me tell you this. Please look up. It is true that honor should be for all men but there's all kinds of nonsense flowing around society that the concept of equality is being one with Christ but organically speaking listen ladies please hear me organically speaking the head of every woman is her husband he's not the head only when he brings food he is the head as this. God knows what he built. And when he gives you a pattern, maintain it. Are we, are we together now? The Bible clearly tells us, Wives, your interpretation of love to a husband is submission and respect. That means, I hope you know the Bible says, He that finds a wife finds a good thing. He didn't say he that finds a woman and makes her a wife. That means she must be a wife to be found. A wife does not happen when you are married. A wife is a mental position. Are we together now? It's, it, this is a very powerful revelation. The Bible, your Bible, look up please ladies. It means that every woman who wants to be successful in her home, and every woman who wants to be successful even in a relationship must before a man comes to your life the assignment you should be involved with is learning submission and learning respect because this is your this is the mandate upon you to your husband as Paul began to teach the church it will be difficult brothers and sisters for a woman who truly understands respect and honor and submission to have a bad marriage it will be difficult there is something respect does to men it makes them vulnerable when a woman respects a man truly when a woman submits to a man truly and unashamedly she makes him owe her he will owe her honor he will owe her care but ladies are gradually losing it because the context of modern day society tells you look you know the whole you stand up for your right and so on and so forth and we're corrupting god's pattern it's a matter of time there will be destruction hallelujah ask anybody who is from 50 60 70 years old and above in marriage they will because they've gone long enough to tell you they will tell you sincerely that the strength of a woman is in her submission look up the bible two books in the bible are named after women ruth and esther isn't it amazing that the book of esther is not called ahasuerus and the book of ruth is not called boaz and the books parallel themselves because the books have to do with number one weak women Ruth and Hadassah number two the Bible that book has to do with great successful and an established men Ahasuerus and Boaz and in both books the strength of the women was their weakness and you get what I'm saying now it was the dexterity of Esther's submission her wisdom that made her to conquer her man granted access for the promotion of Mordecai are we together now and eventually stop what would have been the destruction of the Jews there was no sword that Esther held yet she killed everything weakness is greater than strength weakness is a weapon it can do many great things ladies let me tell you this make up your mind 
that you are going to preserve your family by sustaining the unashamedness to sincerely submit to your husband and to respect him you know what respect means to respect means to hold in high esteem to respect means to praise are we together now there is no man who will indefinitely continue to love a woman and a wife i wrote something here you may want to write it down while i was preparing the holy spirit just fired this to my spirit and i said wow this is instructive ready love in marriage is unconditional but stability and fulfillment is highly conditional love in marriage is unconditional but stability and fulfillment is highly conditional the narrative that love a man continues to love a woman and live with her indefinitely regardless of what she becomes regardless of what it it looks like is true but there is an aspect of it that is a lie because coexistence is based on the principle of compatibility and understanding please you, you have to get this you can love someone but not want to live with the person again are we together now yes ladies your biggest advantage in family life is not competing with your husband your biggest advantage in family life is not your becoming a ceo or your becoming a great woman your biggest advantage is mastering submission i read an article one time that was sent a woman who was married for 80 years maybe some of you have seen the article married for 80 years she lived i think up to 104 years or so and died and she wrote an advice for the ladies of this generation even me when i read what she said i said ah this thing requires the holy ghost the woman wrote what 90 percent of you here will tear it and yet she said that was the secret to her home of 80 years when you want to last prepare to last very long not long very long you cannot survive 80 years in marriage by mistake are you getting what i'm saying now and the woman said according to the article that she literally was the one running the home there is something i can tell you about men i've been one all my life i will tell you this men vulnerable to honor to respect and to submission men honor those above them they lift up those below them they fight those who claim equality with them what men do not want is the competition of equality when you are higher than men they will gladly respect you when you are lower than them they will gladly lift you but when you claim equality subconsciously you bring yourself to a position where you will attract a lot of pain so you must obtain grace in the name of jesus we want to build homes and family lives that last and the secret is not in the vastness of information there are a few essentials that are foundational submission now we come from different backgrounds i'm coming to the men but ladies listen to me we come from different backgrounds that interpret weakness interpret submission as weakness the average lady who is submissive today is interpreted as being desperate and interpret they interpret as being desperate you are not showing like you are the very thing that is the honor of a woman is now being perceived as weakness Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.